I'm definitely on a cold streak now, aren't I? Bad vs. Vlad. God like Shivana. Yeah. Why does he have a rainbow behind him? I started E. While editing, I realized that this video hasn't been too entertaining in the forms of commentary, so I thought I'd add in a little bit of my own. The uh, reason why I wasn't talking in this video or this stream that much is because of that really long lost streak, as you guys saw at the intro of this video. But I thought I'd just like talk a little bit over while I've been completely silent in the stream, at least until I started getting kills and having some hope because my thoughts is that we're gonna lose since they have like a jungle main god like Shivana and I was just auto filled I didn't know what I was doing with Elise haven't touched Elise in a long time and you know we come down get scuttle and gank bot lane which is really good macro in terms of getting all the CS along the way jungle camps and just keeping the economy up. Oh he she flashed and she flashed and healed. Double kill? Okay let's, let's uh, invade. Ah, oh, dang it, she left nothing for me. Right here, I thought it was really tempting to just go in for a regank, but at the same time, I noticed that the chances of killing is very low. All I'll do is just push in, waste time, share EXP, and it just won't be good when I could be on the map somewhere else. At this point, we just took Raptors working towards Wolves, and at the same time, their bot lane is playing very defensive. I see a potential scuttle crab that could be in the top river. I also see that Olaf is dominating, so I would like to go there and support my Olaf in case he does get ganked. I could potentially swoop in for the counter gank. So there's opportunities there for top and mid. And also, potentially if Olaf shoved in, I can't dive top. I could also go and invade Shivana because Elise is just really strong like that. Really good for invades. So there was a lot of options open. And luckily we saw scuttle here, so we're going to take scuttle or potentially gank mid. Here we see Galio immediately back off, so I ping back to call off the gank. Never mind. When you see an opportunity like this in the top lane, it's pretty hard to resist it, even if Shivana's up here, which we're pretty sure she is because we've been clearing bottom to top and so has she. So she'll be up here.
So the flow of things was quite nice and simple. We went from top gank into counter jungle at the top side, and then after that saw their support roam into mid, so it helped out with that. Mm, my lanes are recalling, so I can't invade. They're playing pretty far up. During this play, it was definitely better to queue him a little bit later after the shield expires to instantly execute him. Let's go top side. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're doing okay. We're doing okay so far. We're beating the super good Shivana according to what poor Professor had to say. So I just need to keep this up. Oh, we got the slower. Based on my bot side, I figured that Shivana already cleared her bot side, so there's no point in going and checking her blue buff. I see that top lane is being pushed in and Scuttle Crab is up, so we take Scuttle, potentially play off Rift Herald and also gank Vlad. So right now we're just waiting. I see that Vlad is not responding to me standing in that bush, it means it's not warded. So I know that I'm safe here, even though I don't have a sweeper up. Man, how long are you gonna take? Holy moly. Nice. Generally speaking, the best thing you can do after successful gank is to push in the lane so that you get some gold, get some experience, and keep up in terms of economy instead of just running away from the lane, which is probably one of the worst things you can do unless you're looking for regank teleport. Should be able to. Yeah, he can just clear this twice. He gets solar tower plating. I'll take rift, and then we're all dandy. If the champion wasn't Vlad, there is a potential of reganking top lane just by leaving the lane, coming back after this teleport, and going for the dive. So, very vulnerable champions like Trinomir without an ult, you could easily do that too. In this situation, it was a Vlad, so there is a bit of risk there, and we see that Olaf just simply takes out Vladimir, so we don't have to worry about that. But for other games, potentially you can look for the regank, the redive after a teleport, really powerful. I should just be a jungle main, honestly. This is so much more chill. I don't know if it's me that's doing well or my team's is doing well, but like only one person fit, and that was the Olaf. Grab this and head down. Oh god! Whoa! She survived!
Okay. Right into bot gank. At this point, top is set. Mid is set, we open mid up, and now we're just working on the bot tower, so looking to get red, and then potential tower dive at bot lane, gank bot lane, just whatever it is, we're just going to camp the living daylight out of bot lane, or move towards mid lane, depends on the situation, but we're going to scout for it, and clearing wards makes them very paranoid. And as you guys just saw, Shivana just went towards her topside jungle, so this dive is very safe. Hey, I mean, we've lost basically every game on Trindamir, but the moment we get auto filled into jungle and play random Elise, we won. Hey, yeah, go figure. I mean, it's 19 and 2. If we lose, um, I, I, I'm speechless. Like, we haven't won yet, but I'm just saying, like, as you guys can tell from my demeanor, I was having a really, really bad day, just losing non stop over and over. Mainly due to just games where nah, the game was just reach. over around the 10 minute mark and you are just like trapped in the top lane island not being able to do much and because it's higher ish elo everyone's farming well and you can't just leverage your advantage Shivana's from dead. just simply farming well. So it was a really painful day for me. I felt like I played decently well for most of my games but it just wasn't good enough so that's has to be something I could do to figure out and try to hard carry more games. Because obviously just winning the lane isn't good enough. You have to hard carry in order to win in League of Legends. As a top laner at least. I'll just grab my blue first. And then we'll go on the map again. Alright, let's go help our team now. It's just a little bit of a downtime, so we may as well just farm. And now we're back on the map. Went straight for the Caitlyn. Wow, that's like 200 IQ spider. It like it walked past everyone. <laughs> it went straight for what the? Oh. Ow! Wait, where did all my health go? Holy moly! I think they aimed me or something. I I took so much damage there. Alright, let's go back. I have a lot of gold. I got an assist for that. Zonia's. Alright. Damn, we slaughtered them. This is so one-sided. Like, what even happened? Like, they had all the advantage. I'm a cold streak, casual Elise, Trindamir one-trick pony against a godlike Shivana on a hot streak. Like, oh. Okay. We should just take the smart objective. Like, all right, I don't know. I'm gonna do the smart thing. I told them to back. Get dragon, push bot. Uh, there's like nothing to take at the moment. They they just. Uh, it's just high risk and very little reward until the minions come. And that's like a few years later. Okay. I mean, sure. I'm just not confident, that's all. I just want to guarantee. Like, this is something we had to do anyway. We could have ended the game earlier.
Who's my other one trick pony? Apparently at least now. Jesus, that's not even balanced. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> he stole the Shivana off. Nice, GG. Is he permanent dragon? No, he's he's back to Silas. I mean the chat's covering it but I can see. Oh a win. Oh my god. A win. Look at um poor Professor's praises. Apparently Apparently I'm an aggressive jungler, tower destroyer, good CS. So for a jungler? Early turret destroyer, high KDA, unkillable, good vision. There we go. Like, uh, all the praise is just like, psh, that's poor professor for you. Now my egos, if no, not really. I feel so defeated today. Holy moly, I lost so many games today. I'm just like getting really, really, really bad coin flips. Kind of like that last game where like it was super one-sided. I feel like it was so one-sided that there's nothing I could have done. Even if I play perfect. There was those kind of games. I was getting way too many of them.